Now let's see how we can add third party JavaScript libraries to our Angular CLI project. So we will go to our project again and then we can here click on this icon to split the terminal here and then we can write our command to install new library. So I will be using Lodash in case just a quick note uh, in the previous video we have installed bootstrap then we added it to the angular cli.json file but you could also have used a cdn and then you have added the files into index.html similarly the library we will be using for this example i will be using lodash uh, you can use a cdn version of it but uh, i will show you how we can integrate directly it into the angular cli project so we will do uh, npm install and then we will do save and then lodash all right now it will save our dependencies for lodash in the uh, package.json now after it is finished installing uh, now the first step is we will go to our component so let's close the terminal here then i will go to component.ts and here let's create a constructor and in my constructor we can use console.log then we can say underscore dot random this is a function provided by lodash so we can say 1 to 100 so it will show the random number from 1 to 100 so if I save it like this and if I go back to the browser and then I click show the command line so currently we are seeing dash is not defined so what we can do is uh, first we need to declare or import the lodash in our component so we can do import then we will say lodash so you can see currently the error is still there so what else we can do is we have to declare uh, declare variable and then we will say underscore and of type maybe any and now if i save it and then i go back to the browser and give it some time then you can see we are getting the random number here now let's close this so if i refresh it again then you can see another random number here all right 